Hello, hello, Jess here. I am coming to you tonight after catching some of the preview of the fourth module of my Learning Ladies Virtual Academy. They are flying in, so we can't watch it all this evening, but it will be posted up tomorrow morning, and I'm super excited for that. But after watching it, a lot of what Danelle and Nadia talked about was getting your life organized and having an organized life and how it creates more space for you to follow your purpose, follow your dream, being focused, all of that good stuff. And this is stuff that I talk about on a regular, right? With my clients, with strangers. It's organization is so much more than just your stuff having a place. One of the things that I recently discovered was that I haven't really reinstituted systems into my into my home. In the just about 2 years that I've lived here, I've had I think I'm on my third set of roommates. I've lived alone, I've lived with a live-in boyfriend, and then we've also had his children here on the weekends. So there's been a lot of in and out and adaptations for a lot of other people. And since all of that's changed yet again, I have not gone through and made sure things are working best for me in the situation that I'm in. One of the things that I think people don't understand is that while yes, once you get organized once, it's much easier to maintain it. But there is some fluidity about organization and it has to change with your life and what's happening. So if all of a sudden you end up with a lot more people in your home for long term basis or you have kids or you move, things need to change to fit that certain circumstance. This is the first time in my entire adult life that I've renewed a lease somewhere. So that's also a new thing for me because usually I get to redo that every 10 to 12 months anyways. That has not happened yet. So I am going to practice what I preach. I'm going to, on my blog, every single week, go through one step of the organization process that I take with my clients. And the first one couldn't be better because it's something that has been coming up a lot lately of really just defining my values, my vision, and my goals. Now, my values, I'm 100% concrete in. My vision, I think I'm 90% of the way there. And my goals, I have them, but I think a few more need to be fleshed out. So I am going to practice what I preach, and I encourage you to do the same. So I would love for you to come check out my blog, top, T-O-P, organizing, O-R-G-A-N-I-Z-I-N-G dot com backslash blog. First post is already up and you can look forward to at least one post a week with pictures and stories and all of that good stuff. I would love it if you would share it so that people can understand what the organization process is and know that organizers are not always 100% organized. Things change, life happens, and we have to make it work for us. So thank you for tuning in. If you wanna email me, have any questions, please feel free to email me, jessica at toporganizing.com, or I do a free monthly webinar call thing called Ask the Organizer on the last Tuesday of the month, or fourth Tuesday of the month, I guess. So check me out on Facebook, and I look forward to seeing you then.